and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Twee it's been a while guys since I sat down and done a makeup tutorial but I thought I would do a little twist on today's video I'm actually going to be following Nikita Dragon's makeup tutorial I've been following Nikita for a long time now I've actually met her in real life she's so so lovely and I've always wanted to do these kind of videos where you're following along a beauty guru's makeup tutorial I feel makeup tutorials myself and I think it would be quite funny for you guys to see me follow along another beauty guru's makeup tutorial if I have a dollar for every single time I see the comment you look like Nikita Dragon Nikita Dragon oh my god this is Nikita Dragon's twin honestly I'll probably be a multi-millionaire by now because I get those comments nearly every single day I ain't taking offense to that because Nikita is amazing she's so gorgeous her body is gold who's her surgeon let me know we are going to be doing this look today the video is called how I catfish the internet with makeup Nikita actually doesn't upload that many makeup tutorials so I had to go back on her channel to try to find a start to finish makeup tutorial where she isn't doing assumptions or she isn't doing any Q and A's or anything like that. This video is in 2018 and it's on 1.1 million views. Those are the views I aspire to have one day guys, okay? But everyone has to start from somewhere. But Nikita is so, so gorgeous. So hopefully I've done this makeup look justice. If you guys wanna see how a creators look following Nikita Dragon's makeup tutorial, then please keep watching. <laughs> So let's get started. I haven't got any makeup on. I literally just carved out my eyebrows and I just put a bit of eyebrow gel in my brows. I believe in 2018 she hasn't released her makeup products yet. So wherever I can fit in a Dragon Beauty makeup product, I'll try to slot that in instead of the product she's using so that it's a bit more relevant to 2020, you know. I wish she uploaded a bit more where she done like makeup tours and stuff like that, but this is the closest one that I could find in 2018, girl. Okay, so let's watch the video. Yes! Work, bitch, work. Yes! Ooh! Yay! Yay! Hi, Dragons! What's up? It's Nikita. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I have a 0 to 100 transformation Ooh. how I go from, you know, a little bit bland, a little bit more humble to this sickening look that I used to catfish people on the internet. Yes, but we love a catfish. I haven't recorded a get ready with me in forever, and I'm actually on the way to a really important event right now. So she looks amazing. I love this outfit. Look from beginning to end, from humble. <laughs> Yes, so love it. Before and after, look, yes. And subscribe to my channel right this second. Subscribe, like guys, to my channel and the keychains. Because get ready, baby, because we're about to go on a full ride. So if you want to see oh. how I achieve this look right here, then keep on watching. Okay, before we start, let me get Hi. my country voice on. <laughs> Dolphins, can you hear me? All right, guys, I love all so these editing. Do not be shocked, surprised if you do not know this is actually what I look like under all my makeup, face tune, filters, and a lot of video editing and smoking mirrors. Girl, I think she looks up, amazing bitch. with that this makeup. In my humble form, if y'all do not recognize me, surprise, hello. Neither do you or any of my past boyfriends. <laughs> So many new products oh God, and makeup on. and just so many Get into new the makeup basically now. lies and fallacies to trick the internet into thinking I'm some baddie apparently. Yes, so we love tricking the internet. That's what we I make our career on as beauty gurus. As well okay, we're getting started. Oh my god, that mirror is so cute. I want it. I'm gonna go with this mirror from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so basically she's using a colour corrector. I think it's a YSL one. She doesn't list any of the products in her description box. So I'm just gonna have to try to watch and follow along. So I I'm gonna go in with Dragonfire Skin Perfecting Potion. I feel like if she was gonna film a makeup tutorial more recently, she would of course use her own product. I personally don't color correct normally, so we're gonna try this out. She normally goes in with this product, so I saw another video. She literally put it everywhere, all over her skin, and she was literally bright orange, so. We're gonna try to follow along, okay? All I want is clear skin, yeah. thick hair, longer hair. We want clear I skin, have bitch. I many accomplishments, and I wanna have my phone number and my bank account. I feel like that's just really not that hard to ask. And yes. maybe like a fatter ass. I mean, I don't know, whatever. Who doesn't want a fatter ass? Goals. If you okay, do not know, the orange the eyes. ones cancel out all things purpley, grayish, red. If oh my God, guys, I'm a bit scared. I'm not gonna lie. This is a lot of color corrector. So I'm using a flat top kabuki brush, like what she's doing in the video. A brush this just make sure that it blends in and make sure that the pigment doesn't go too crazy and everywhere i feel like 
with a beauty blender in my oh okay so normally i would actually blend this out with a beauty sponge but maybe using a brush would be better i need to actually start utilizing brushes more i feel like i depend on a sponge way too much okay so i look a little bit crazy but I'm trusting Nikita in this process because right now I look like I got a horrible spray tan that's super, super patchy. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next step now, which is foundation. Oh my goodness. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick. Oh my okay, goodness. This foundation is amazing. It literally covers up all your secrets, all of your past Ooh. boyfriends, all of your lives, all Love the stuff that you cheated on your math test in high school, if you cheated on your homework, it really covers up all those lies and all those fallacies. Like, if you don't have good skin, like me, you know, it just covers up everything. Like, I want to I don't have good skin, skin, and I love good coverage. Really isn't okay, so Nikita says she uses two colors. Warm Ivory is, like, my skin color, and then we're going to also go with Golden, which is slightly darker. I actually used to love this foundation, and then I stopped using it for a while. I feel like this is better for someone with more of like a normal to dry skin if you've got oily skin i do find it melts a lot but i do notice in a lot of her tutorials she loves this product so we're gonna go back in and use it maybe i'll fall in love with it again ivory matches me perfectly but i'm just gonna go in with warm beige around the face okay so with the warmer shade okay. i'm going all around the oh gosh, corner she goes so fast i love this damn thing because i don't even it's have so hard to watch and do it at the Look same at time okay. there's so much to think about she's moved colors already and now i'm gonna go in with warm ivory which is the light to shade skin like butter you definitely don't have to use as much as me but i'm going for a very using a lot. look today because oh. i'm going to manny's launch party for lunar beauty and i'm oh my so God. excited so this is so is crazy that it's so old this video product. that so lunar I'm beauty hasn't even launched right yet skin. okay now again with that same because she's used a lot of product she used a brush again which normally i wouldn't i would normally go with a sponge but you know that's why we're following the tutorial so we can learn some new tips so I like the idea of using two different foundations in certain areas because sometimes for me, I feel like my foundation looks all flat at one point. So I do like the fact that it gives you a bit more dimension to your face without even having to contour yet. But I do have to say that the color corrector is still peeking through. So you have to make sure you use a really, really good coverage foundation. Otherwise you do still see the orange color corrector poking through and it kind of changes your foundation sometimes. So make sure whatever foundation you're using is super full coverage. Honey, I will yes. take off many things, but I'm not taking off my foundation, girl. Ooh. That's one thing. I'm what are you taking off, girl? And with a wet Morphe sponge in any oh spot. Gosh, she's already blended it out. Okay, so the next step is cream contouring. She says she doesn't normally do cream contouring, so we're going to follow along. Okay, so she has a KKW concealer in 13. I only have shade 15, which is actually way too dark for me. So I'm going to use another concealer that has a bit more of the same undertone that she's using. I'm going to go in with Juvia's Place concealer number 10 is taking on the places i want to contour so that's my cheekbones and then i'm going to be going around the temple area the in temple? between my, or if you just have a big head in general like me i mean i got a big head I, more because, contour again, like I said, i'm going to a drag type party and girl we need to look sickening so yes. i actually have multiple i want to look sickening bitch from how many of these brushes does she have she has so many of these flat top brushes and i have none i need to get this flat top brush that she's using because if she has two of them it must be really good okay so she's literally just tapping and blending it out dragging kind of motion just oh, to like drag. pull everything up and out okay oh, oh my gosh she's blended out already like okay one second this is too much guys I'm trying to follow a tutorial trying to talk to you guys I'm trying to listen I'm not gonna lie, it looks hella snatched. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the nose now. I'm gonna use a smaller brush. So I'm guessing she just blended to the side of her nose. She kind of done it off camera. So we're just gonna improvise. And then she also went underneath her nose, which I never normally contour this bit. So maybe it'll give me a nice little... I mean, we don't like just the tip, but I do like to focus on the tip. Now with the letter okay. concealer, oh. I'm the shade. So she's using number five from KKW. I've only got number six. Okay, so she's literally blending this kind of like down here okay i need to go with a lighter shade guys so i'm gonna go in the cover effects power play concealer in the shade g light 2 which is more similar to the shade she's got going on and i'm okay, also so she's gonna going bring this on eyes, the bridge of my nose a little bit and the bridge of her nose she kind of dragged it down here a little bit 
she's basically highlighted all of this bit and then she went all the way down her nose and kind of highlighted this little tip bit. I'm gonna be very cautious of the contour that we laid down earlier. Okay, so I haven't got the Morphe sponge, so I'm gonna use this sponge from a brand called Sunday Ivy. I've actually been really loving their sponges. Okay, so she told us we had to be a bit more careful because we don't wanna ruin all of the contour shades. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel like I've got a lot of makeup on. It feels really, really heavy on the skin. I had to put on so much foundation on top to cover up the color corrector and then another layer of concealer, another a layer of contour on top it feels like i got a lot of product sniff a line of loose setting powder in the morning okay. i sniff a line of baking powder in the morning girl like it's really really bad at this point Ooh. so i literally use okay. three different powders on let's my get face. a party started so first... okay so she's going in with the coty powder i actually don't have that powder i used to have it before but it has a really really strong scent to it and it feels very very cakey so instead i'm gonna go in with the laura mercy translucent powder and i'm, I'm like using a dry really sponge that was just said yeah. And then with the tiniest little bit of it, I'm going to press it. Oh my god, she's going so fast. Okay, so we're literally just pressing this on our eyelids. She also sets her eyebrows as well, so we'll do that. So next she's going in with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder, which I have. So I'm going to switch it over to this instead. Again, I'm setting my whole face with this Hourglass Translucent I know Jaclyn Hill loves this powder, but I have tried this powder a couple of times and it's very glowy. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go in and bronze and contour our face. Okay, so I've got my Bronze Goddess bronzing powder, which she uses, and also Mahula from Benefit. I don't think I've actually ever used this bronzer before, so it's quite good that I'm doing this video, so I can actually use the shit that I have. Okay, so I'm going to be dipping into the Bronze Goddess, and I go in with a giant brush. Ooh, oh my goodness. That brush is huge. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this bigger brush from Kit Stars, so a lot bigger than the brush I would normally use. Again, we can add as much or as little as we need to, Ooh, but she's I... She's going ham. Add. Okay, she's moved on to blush already, damn it. Oh my god, guys, I've literally been so focused on following the actual tutorial, seeing what product she used, and I totally forgot that she actually launched a Dragon Beauty face press powder. So we should, of course, be using this. I have done a whole video reviewing Dragon Beauty, so make sure you go check out that video. But I actually really like this palette. So we're probably going to go with Femme to kind of like bronze and contour. And then she's using a Morphe Trio for her blusher, but I'm going to go in with this blusher because I feel like it's a bit more relevant. So I'm going to go in with Tea Girl and Baby Girl. I take that on well. my chin right here, under chin? here, as well as underneath on this nose. Of my nose. God, who puts blush on their chin? I recently started to put blush on my nose, and I actually quite like the effect. It's very Instagram filter looking, you know. And I pull it up all the way to my temples Ooh. and my forehead. Like blush as well. Like oh my god. Oh my god. Who puts blushes up here? But okay. Okay, so she's moved on to eyes now, but I feel like this is the perfect time to use the Dragon Beauty Transformation Heart face powder kit. My one is broken because I freaking stood in it by mistake. So she normally does a little dip of both products and she uses this to kind of brighten up underneath the eyes. This product actually really does make a difference so I'll just do one side so you can see. In this palette I actually prefer the pinkier shade which I never thought I would say. Sometimes a yellow one when I use it is quite bright and sometimes it's a bit too white underneath the eyes for me so I definitely have to mix both of the shades. And it definitely has like a little blurring effect with this powder. It's not a completely matte powder. So it does give you that kind of like face tune airbrush effect. Hopefully you guys can see a difference. This side is a lot brighter. I just just got like this in between two of the shades to pick up a bit of both. And then I also put a little bit on my chin as well to help brighten that. And a little bit on my forehead. Oh my god, you can really see the difference on the chin. Okay, so in this video, Nikita is using the Life's a Drag palette i actually filmed a whole video on this palette on my channel already i can't believe it's been two years since this palette's launched crazy how time flies it's actually really pretty it has like, a bit of neutrals in there pops of color before i do so i'm gonna start the baking process so i'm gonna be taking the Too faced peach perfect and the reason why i love this okay so apparently she's baking now with the peach perfect powder from Too faced which i have and i never ever use it tastes so good and i know it sounds so bad but i discovered it Should in I my it. prom video actually i was using this and i was like why is it oh my god so it does taste really, really good right now i'm like girl this tastes so yummy it's so bad oh my god it's really so sweet my contour air okay so she's just using a bit of this powder to bake alongside her nose as well oh my god this powder actually smells really nice i haven't used this in ages so we're just kind of baking along my nose to make my nose extra snatched, I guess. So I'm going to start off by using the color Cake Face right here. And I'm going to be packing this underneath my brow bone. Okay, so we're going in with Cake Face, which is literally like a white. It's just 
put this underneath her brow bone. Oh girl, it's gonna look a bit crazy. I never ever put a shade underneath my brow bone anymore. Sometimes I feel it looks a little bit dated. They actually look really nice. Gives you like a really nice lift. I might have to highlight underneath my brow bone some more. I guess that's the whole point of these tutorials, right? To try to find new techniques. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Hunty and Pageant Queen which is what Nikita's using. I'm gonna be going for a more pulled look. Okay, so now that we have that blended out, I'm gonna be oh dipping into Oh my god, her shade is so Patrick much lighter Queen than mine. Okay, so I just blended out on both eyes. That Hunter shade is actually really nice. Normally, I would never really use a gray kind of transition color like this, but it actually gave me a really nice finish to my eyes without it looking too orangey or too warm. Ah! Again, these colors are crazy pigmented. I'm gonna go just Pageant Queen. I remember this stained my eyes as well, so I'm gonna look like I've been beating up for the next couple of days. I feel like Nikita, she mainly gets her makeup done professionally now. I don't think she even does her own makeup anymore. Wouldn't that be amazing to get your hair makeup done every single day, guys? You just lay back and sleep. Just like Katy Perry, you know? Kai Kai right here, Ooh. which is what Manny and I do sometimes. And okay, What's so I'm Kai -Kai? wetting the brush first with some MAC Fix Plus. Well, she's wetting her brush. Even more crazy pigmented. She's wetting a brush with a matte eyeshadow, guys. This is dangerous territory. But okay, Nikita, I trust you. I'm worried, guys. Normally, you should never wet a matte eyeshadow because it will ball up, but okay. Okay, we're going in with Kai Kai. Oh, no. This is why you don't wet matte eyeshadows because it creates this film. One thing I do like to do since I do have hooded eyes is I like to stare forward to see how much of the actual color will appear. So yes, now I'm going to be adding tip. that. I personally would have probably never done this color combination together, but I really like it, actually. Guys, as you are watching this, tomorrow, I'm going to be going to the Mulan premiere. Ah! I'm so freaking excited. You can catch it all on my vlog that's gonna be uploaded on Sunday. But I am so nervous. I've never gone to an official premiere before. This is the official European movie premiere at the big Odeon in Leicester Square. And I'm so, so nervous. I've never really dressed up to go to watch a movie before. It's representing the Asian culture. So yeah, I just feel like so much pressure, you know? I already feel so much pressure going to a movie screening where probably no one even knows who the hell I am. I can't even imagine how Nikita feels. This is what she does like every single day of her life. So again, I'm tapping into Kai Kai. I have to say it very like sexy. Okay, so now that I put that color on my lower lash line, this looks looking very bold. I must say so myself. This is Urban Decay Heavy Metal ACDC. Glitter. Really cool yeah, she's liner. calling my name. I'm going to send me half cut crease in my lid girl oh my gosh she done it so quickly i don't know what she done it's a color i would have never chose but i guess it looks quite cool okay so i tried to do the cut crease hopefully i do nikita brow okay so now she's literally curling her natural eyelashes i'm using the kevin aquan eyelash curler these are my favorite prepping for our lashes that we're going to be applying our falsies these lashes are in the style miami as always from Ooh. lily lashes i'm gonna use this new mascara that i just got it's from anastasia beverly hills it's actually a really nice mascara it's picked up my natural lashes really really well sometimes i feel like when i curl my natural lashes and i put mascara on straight away it just drops there's no point in even curling the damn lashes in the first place okay so lash wise I don't have Miami. I only have so extra Miami, but close enough. So I'm gonna quickly pop these on and I'll be back. Okay, so my lashes are on. They are super nice and fluffy. It's been a while since I've done eyelashes without no eyeliner. Okay, so next thing Nikita's using a L'Oreal purple eyeliner or bottom lash line. I don't have that one, so I'm just gonna use the one I have from Fenty Beauty. I'm even taking this eyeliner and dragging it into my lashes a little bit just to really thicken up that purple line. Okay, so Nikita just done her eyebrows. She used the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I actually don't have the Brow Wiz. And the Brow Wiz is not actually my favorite product. I find it's too waxy. So I'm going in with a Precisely My Brow from Benefit Cosmetics. They do my favorite brow products ever. And I'm using the shade number five. It's so weird that Nikita does her eyebrows last like this because I normally do it before I start my eyeshadow. Try new techniques, guys. Okay, so my eyebrows are on. I'm going to sweep away the baking. I think Nikita's done that off camera because she doesn't have no more bake on her skin right tell me bitch she leave me behind so on her lips she's going in with sweet tea lip liner from morphe this is one of my favorite lip liners of all time if you guys are ever getting anything from morphe at all please use my discount code twee t-h-u-y you can use it in store or online and you get 10 percent off and it really really helps me with my channel as well so any type of support you guys can do 
and you get a little bit discount as well help your sister out you know what i'm saying guys this is the perfect mix between mac strip down and cork lip liner it's like the perfect middle baby so the lipstick that she used is a kkw one and i don't have that one so i'm just gonna go in my own nude i'm gonna go in with let's cuddle from dose of colors this is like a really nice peachy nude okay just to give my lips a bit more sheen i'm going in with this nars lipstick it's called belle du jour it's such a nice color but it's so soft guys it literally melts like this almost like a gloss inside of a lipstick okay and just when i thought that nikita was gonna skip the highlighter like god she's going in with the highlighter palette in collaboration with bretman rock and morphe i'm taking vacation right here vacation this is such a stunning shade yes bitch just like that. I actually need to use this palette more often. I always forget about all my highlighter palettes, but it's so nice. Like, look at that glow. I need to keep this on my tabletop so I actually remember to use it because this glow, I need this every day. Ooh, nothing beats a good old highlighter, guys. Transformation! Okay guys, so this is the final look. I try to do my hair kind of glamorous. I use my Dyson Air Wrap to give me like nice big voluminous waves, but obviously it's not going to compare to a full on wig. But I hope you guys liked this video. It's a bit different from what I normally do. I really want to keep it fun and just uplifted on my channel and not take makeup so seriously, you know. I definitely learned that I need to go lighter with my concealer. I feel like it brightens up underneath my eyes a lot. I also really liked the brow bone highlight. I felt like it really finished off my eyebrows. I love Nikki to dragon so much she's a strong independent boss ass bitch she does youtube instagram she slays her body is banging she also owns an amazing makeup line and i'm always so supportive of anyone that has come from youtube or come from instagram and just built an empire of their own it's something that i inspire to have myself one day so of course this video is no shade to nikita at all i hope she actually liked my makeup tutorial and i've done her justice let me know if you guys like this makeup tutorial i really want to follow a huda beauty makeup tutorial i can follow a jacqueline hill tutorial I can follow Nikki's tutorial tutorial there's so many tutorials i could follow so let me know if you guys like this video by giving me a thumbs up and also commenting down below and that's it for this video guys i'll see you in the next one bye so i look sexy oh, orange. i'm following a nikita dragon makeup tutorial this is how i catfish the internet babes Been my best friend since junior high so i just have to watch through the ad get your money nikita oh someone's calling me fuck off okay i'm gonna go with jouet creme brulee is it lighter Oh, bitch, it's the fucking same colour. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Is that even lighter? No, these concealers are like too dark. Oh my god. This is probably where I go wrong with my makeup. Chanel, shut the fuck up! Shh, sorry, I'm gonna go and just kill Chanel for a second. Okay, I'm just using them. I started filming at 12.30 and it's currently. 5.30 in the evening. And do you know what the sad thing is? I literally have to take this all off because I'm going straight to the gym now. Why? Why can't someone whisk me away at a fancy dinner somewhere? Okay. Money. I feel like Nikita Dragon sleeps in tops like this, you know? But actual real money, not fake printed mesh money like this. Okay, guys, I have to go and wash this all off now. So sad. Bye. See ya. Bye. Don't want to go. Bye. 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 <laughs>